Hello everybody, this is Dr. Rajal Shah, your guide for urologic pathology topics. In this particular video, I would like to initiate a very important topic on the diagnosis of renal cell tumors. I'm going to give you a very brief outline how you can utilize a pattern-based approach to diagnosis of these tumors. The project is quite complex now with increasing understanding on the molecular biology of these uh, renal tumors. We have witnessed a tremendous uh, progress in the classification of renal cell tumors. Several new entities are now included in the 2016 WHO classification which I have listed here in these various highlighted boxes. Several entities still have not found a place in the classification. These entities are termed as an emerging or provisional entities. So there is a tremendous progress that we are witnessing in this particular area. So how you can kind of approach these tumors from pathological point of view in terms of classification. So that's what I would like to kind of focus on this very short introduction video. There are six different patterns that you can identify in the renal cell tumors. The most common of them is tumor showing clear cell cytoplasm. You can have tumor showing a tubulopapillary pattern with basophilic cells. You can have tumor showing predominant cystic type of morphology. Then another very complex subject is these pink tumors, which gives heartburn to a lot of us. There are certain tumors which infiltrate the pre-existing renal parenchyma and are termed as a high-grade infiltrative tumors. And then the last pattern is spindle cell tumors. So if you identify a particular tumor which fits into one of this particular pattern, you can narrow down your differential diagnosis. But a word of caution is that there is a significant overlap amongst the patterns. Some of the tumors such as clear cell renal cell carcinoma may in, in fact not look clear. It may fall within a pink tumors category, but overall, you can put tumors into one of these six buckets. So let's review some of these entities within each of this uh, pattern. Tumors showing clear cells, cytoplasm, your most common entity and the most important one to recognize is clear cell renal cell carcinoma. You can have chromophobe renal cell carcinoma classic variant. New entity is clear cell papillary renal cell carcinoma. Then another now entity which we have witnessed a tremendous progress is uh, translocation renal cell carcinoma, which is also termed as a mid family translocation RCC. And then a provisional emerging entity is renal cell carcinoma with leiomyometastroma. I have put a separate video on this particular entity highlighting some of our work. So I would encourage you to check out on that particular video. Our next entity is tubulopapillary morphology with basophilic cytoplasm. And one of the benign spectrum includes metanephric adenoma. Within the malignant spectrum, you have papillary renal cell carcinoma with solid and so-called type one morphology. Mucinous tubular and spindle cell carcinoma. This is relatively very uncommon, rare subtype. Then you can have adults, uh, adult Wilms tumor, which is epithelial predominant type. And then don't forget that sometimes metastatic adenocarcinoma can also present with similar morphology. Within the cystic tumors, you have multilocular cystic nephroma and closely related mixed epithelial and stromal tumor. Um, multilocular cystic neoplasm of low malignant potential. Tubulocystic carcinoma, which now there is a kind of more uh, understanding on this particular entity. Some of them would potentially go into fumarate hydratase deficient renal cell carcinoma. And this morphology can be seen with when many other renal cell tumors, particularly papillary renal cell carcinoma. 
so i am definitely talking more of a pure entity as for the classification within this particular pattern and then you can have cystic partially differentiated nephroblastoma within pink tumors there is a whole lot of entities that can be considered in the, in the differential diagnosis your prototypical entity is oncocytoma which if correctly diagnosed is a benign entity you can have chromofibrinal cell carcinoma eosinophilic variant when tumor shows atypia which exceeds of oncocytoma but does not reach the full threshold to classify as a renal cell carcinoma there is often now a uh, term that is utilized which is called renal oncocytic neoplasm of low malignant potential this entity still has not officially been recognized in the 2016 who classification but many of us utilize this term to classify some of these borderline tumors and then as i mentioned many of these so called clear cell renal cell carcinoma can actually present with pink cytoplasm you can have papillary renal cell carcinoma oncocytic type uh, acquired cystic disease associated renal cell carcinoma which typically occur in end stage renal kidneys on patient on dialysis then certain spectrum of translocation renal cell carcinoma can present with a very pink morphology a newly described entity includes succinate dehydrogenase deficient renal cell carcinoma and then you can have angiomyolipoma which can also show you prominent oncocytic morphology high grade infiltrative tumors include urothelial carcinoma this uh, next is a somewhat vanishing entity collecting duct carcinoma medullary carcinoma fumarate hydratase deficient renal cell carcinoma and then of course you also have to keep a metastatic carcinoma to the kidney in your differential diagnosis when you deal with this kind of high grade infiltrative tumor and the last category is a spindle cell tumors within uh, this spindle cell tumors always keep angiomyolipoma in your differential if the tumor is obviously malignant then of course renal cell carcinoma with sarcomatoid differentiation leiomyoma sarcoma and other sarcomas would come uh, an important differential diagnosis so this is a very brief outline of this six patterns and entities that fall within this six patterns and the to keep uh, important uh, take home messages that if you utilize this a pattern based approach then it will provide you a conceptual framework to work up and resolve an increasingly complex landscape of renal tumors and again keep in mind that overlap between these different patterns is quite common and classic example within this is clear cell renal cell carcinoma so i will put a second video shortly which will be focusing on the clear cell renal cell tumors and again i will as uh, time goes on i will start putting more these pattern based different uh, 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 approaches for renal cell tumors uh, classification so please watch out for this with that hope thank you for your attention if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and uh, look forward my more videos thank you